Sure will. I want to make some comments in respect of the events of Canada Day. Um, we all understand, and we should understand, uh, that uh, tearing down is a lot simpler than building up. But building up is what we have to dedicate ourselves to. And I believe that Canada has been and will always be, I hope, a nation that is an example to those around the world of our dedication to building, to building something better. We are not a perfect country, but we're a lot closer than a lot of other countries to being perfect. And we need to dedicate ourselves to that construction project that is Canada. I would say to those who are cho choosing uh, to tear down right now rather than to build up that that is the wrong choice. And I would say to them, let us build together. That is the right choice. Throughout our country's history, uh, well before we were acknowledged as a country, uh, we were a home of hope to people from around the world who came from long distances away to uh, pursue a better life for themselves, for their families. And we continue to be that, that, that beacon of light for people from around the world. We must be that beacon of light for our indigenous people in this country as well. For too long that has not been the case. The people who came here to this country uh, before it was a country and since didn't come here to destroy anything. They came here to build. They came to build better. To build, they did. And they built farms. And they built businesses and they built communities and churches too and they built these things for themselves and for one another and they built them with dedication and with pride and so we must dedicate ourselves to building as well and yet again because what these people have done our ancestors is they've given us a heritage and heritage is a complicated thing There are good and bad aspects to Canada's heritage, as there are to any country's heritage. We've had ups and downs in our country. We've had good times and we've had bad moments. And Canada Day was one of those bad moments. But we need to respect our heritage, just as we need to respect one another. Not to find fault, not to tear down, not to highlight every failure but rather to realize that we're a complex country as we are made up of complex people. And so our failures should not be celebrated, but they should not be repeated either. There were failures of character on display the other day that need not be repeated and that are not helpful, and that in fact are most unhelpful to the struggle for real building and real reconciliation that must be pursued. Truth is what happened in the past and the truth is coming out on important issues. But reconciliation is what we can make happen in the future, just as we've been dedicated as a government to working on reconciliation projects since we came to government. Canada is a land of hope. Manitoba is the special heart of Canada. And we continue to draw people here to this center of our beautiful country because we are focused on building that hope. We can do better here. You can do better here. You just have to have the will. Here in Canada and here in Manitoba we have more tools with which to build than most people on this planet are given. Tools like public education and, uh, and available free health care. And these tools and others are important, but they require the will of people to go beyond the basic tools they are given and do something with them. It takes a negative will to tear down. It takes a positive will to build up. And we need to focus on building up. We need to equip all our citizens with more skills, but they need to dedicate themselves as well to building those skills within themselves. We need to help people 
but people have to have the will also to use the tools they are given. And in this country, we provide, through the contributions of our fellow citizens, taxpayers, our friends, our neighbours, the ones who work hard to pay their taxes, we are given the opportunity that so many people around the planet do not have to develop skills and to earn an income and to become self-sufficient people and to have the opportunity to build and grow. And so many people do that, so many immigrants to Canada, so many people achieve tremendous success. Our country is known as a country that allows people to move from challenging economic circumstances and find success better than most other countries in the world. Some articles I've read say we're three times as likely to be able as citizens of Canada to move from a lower socioeconomic uh, category to a middle income or higher income category than citizens of the United States are, just an hour to the south. These are real opportunities. They're opportunities we need to build on together. We pay for health care, we pay for education, we pay for each other because we want this to be the home of hope. And we want equality of opportunity for everyone. And if that's what you want, if you want equality of opportunity, then you have a staunch ally in me and in our government. And I believe in most Canadians. But you have to decide what you want and then you can start to build.